Hey, what's going on guys? So today I have a very, very engaging trilogy of videos to share you. Now, normally in a situation like this where some guy is being a jerk and approaches a group of people, there isn't a follow-up video posted. But guys, we have a special treat. The particular idiot that approached these girls and harassed them filmed a follow-up to explain himself as to why he did the weird thing that he did. But first, guys, let's start with the first video. Let's start with the interaction that kicked off this entire series of events. <laughs> okay, so then why, why do you dress this way? Dude, I'm hot and I like women, so please leave us alone. Well, kindly. Well, take, take young. I'm at the beach in take, my bathing take, suit. Yep, that's, that's a thong and that's a bra. That's a take, fucking bathing take suit. Take young sir. eyes into consideration. They don't need to see pornography right We're not coming up to you bothering you. Please go away. You're flaunting your stuff. I'm not all right, guys, so this weirdo comes up to this group of girls and he immediately starts telling them how wrong they are for being women, which is basically all that he's doing. He's saying, you're flaunting your stuff, you're wearing a thong and a bra, like, he, they're clearly just wearing bathing suit, like, appropriate swimwear is what they're getting lectured on. Why, why are you distracting the children? These guys always talk about children, but this guy himself is staring at a group of children, ogling them for Jesus, I guess? Flaunting anything, don't look at me. How, how, you look around and, and you the only thing that sticks out because your whole body Okay, well, showing. why are you looking at me? Whoa, get the Close your eyes. What no. if you say is gouge no. your no. eyes out? If I yeah, guys, I don't know if you've ever been to the beach before, but you're not supposed to stare at people for any prolonged periods of time. You look around and you don't lock in on a group of teenage girls that are sitting in their bathing suits. That is, this guy is just a weirdo. You know what an easy thing to do at the beach? Not stare at people that don't want to be stared at. It's it's probably the easiest thing in the world to do. Just look at the water. Stop staring at these women, dude. You creep. Here's the thing. We you you didn't. You go. didn't. But there, but here's the thing. There's free will in America. There's no, freedom bro, of speech. You so I love the logic here. He's talking about free will in America, which I, I guess would mean that these women are free to do whatever they choose to do. If they want to wear bikinis to the beach, they're free to do it. But as soon as he feels like expressing his free will, that supersedes their free will, I guess, because they're they're women and he's a man and he's allowed to do that to them, I, I guess, is his logic there. Their free will doesn't matter as if it's impeding on his free will. Uh, the logic, guys, it's mind numbing. And, and, if, and, if, and if men of God don't stand up, then our society's going to go go down the drain because there's no morality. I'm atheist. Sorry. Yeah, same. But if you're, okay. That, that, that's, if you're an atheist, that doesn't mean you have to you know, show your body off, you can still put clothes on. Oh, I can't with you. <laughs> yeah, has this guy never been to the beach before? You're supposed to wear a minimal amount of clothing. You're not supposed to wear a full suit or a sundress to the beach and go in the water. That's just not how that That's inconvenient for all parties involved. I'm speaking truth. Your body will never ever satisfy. The physical will never ever satisfy. There's a longing in each of your hearts to actually be seen. The reason why, the reason why you're showing your body because you're like, Dude. am I pretty enough? Okay, so now he's a psychologist and he's figured these girls out. The reason why they're wearing bikinis is not because they're just regular girls on the beach. It's because they have clear problems with themselves and they have self-esteem issues and they're not enough and their parents hate them and their dad's disappointed them. That's what this guy surmised from this 45 second interaction with these girls on the beach so far. They're definitely pretty so enough. Thank you. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, please leave us just, alone. Just next time you come to the beach and there's young eyes, take that into consideration. Because, what are you because, talking about? You're you're not saying shit to them. Yeah, what are you talking about? Are you going to go follow that man now? Yeah, go Move through. along. That's a lot different. How, How is that? that because he has a this fucking is, dick? Is, is that one? Why? Yeah, it's a lot different. That guy's allowed to wear no shirt because he's a man and you guys are women. Come on, guys. It's totally different to this guy. To this guy, men can do whatever they want. Men are allowed to walk around on the beach naked if they wanted to because there's no young boys that are staring at them, I guess, is his logic. Uh, or, what he really means, guys, is that he got caught by his wife staring at this group of women. And now he needs he needed to come up with an excuse and instead of being like, sorry, babe, I'm, I'm a perv. He had to go off about how he's got he's a man of God and needs to teach these women their error their ways is is what I'm what I think happened here. I think he's just in trouble with his wife and this is him trying to ban somehow this is better than just admitting that he's a creep. Guys, that was part one. Part two gets even more heated and more intense. This guy's wife makes an appearance and guess what? 
You're going to find out exactly what her opinions are, but you probably already know just based off of the husband that she's married to. So let's watch part two right now. What do you consider a bathing suit? Hey guys, so only a one piece is a bathing suit. This guy is an expert on women's fashion. He knows that Jesus likes one piece bathing bathing suits, and that's it. Yeah, I hope this horrible interaction causes you to change your ways. Honestly, if I were these girls, I, next time I go to the beach, I'm just taking my clothes off entirely, and I'm going to make cr creeps like him leave. That's what I'm doing, because who wants to put up with this? Some weird dude with a backwards baseball cap, tribal tattoos. Uh, he's wearing shoes to the beach like full shoes this guy doesn't know anything about going to the beach and he's going to come up and lecture these girls about the beach that the logic just isn't there and he says it's better for Did a you know milk? God says do not he judge? Said, he, said it's, thou he, thou he, thou said, he said it's better for a milk. Oh, and if you find someone's body distracting, be, uh, then gouge your fucking oh, eyes no. out. Yeah, what about that one? <laughs> huh? What about thou shall not judge? Yeah, what do you mean? Why are you judging? What do you mean? I'm not judging you guys. So now he's not judging them, even though the entire, everything he was doing was just him judging them. That... This guy just doesn't know how... Maybe this guy is functionally illiterate is what actually is going on here. He doesn't know the definition of words. He's clearly judging them. He went out of his way to judge <laughs> to judge these guys. Oh, and is this the guy's wife coming through wearing a two-piece? I thought women were supposed to wear one-piece bathing suits to the beach, and that's it. Don't you hate when somebody comes up to you to follow up and is just completely wrong still? I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. I have nothing to say as far as this goes. But you have to leave in front of my kids where I draw the line. Do you guys agree? And it does matter what you guys wear. Not because, not because of even what he said, but because you need to value yourself. If you're valuing yourself, that's the important thing. So this lady's over here talking about in front of my kids, don't do this, don't do that. She's clearly drunk. Like, she's clearly wasted right now. And she's like, well, you gotta be mindful of uh, what you do for my kids because it's rough. Yeah. This, she's falling. She's about to fall over walking away. How is that any better than <laughs> the, what these people... These people aren't even doing anything wrong. I don't understand. These, these good Christians are super judgmental. And they keep on saying that they're not judging at all. Guys, if you thought that was it, there's a part three to this where the dude gives his side of the story. Now, I don't know if there's ever been a worse idea than to give your side of the story when you're clearly wrong about everything you just did, but let's see if he redeems himself whatsoever. Hey guys, I'm Logan. I just wanted to get on here and to share my side of the story um, of a video that's going viral. First of all, of course, this guy's name is Logan. It was either Logan, Chad, or Kevin. Those are the only three names possible for this dude. About me, uh, not saying I'm harassing women or I'm berating them or, you know, things of that nature. And after you just spent 10 minutes harassing and berating women. Okay, let's let's see how he rationalizes what he did. So my side of the story is I was at um, a reservoir or a lake and I was with family members. Um, I was at a reservoir or a lake. Not that the body of water you're at doesn't matter. The, the, the contention is not what type of water you were near. All, you know, different ages, you know, from my age to college age, all the way down to a nine-year-old boy to a six-year-old boy, four-year-old girl and a two-year-old girl. And I had just, you know, come off the, the water from paddle boarding and somebody in my family said, hey, we've got to move. There's some college age women here that are showing too much. Um, and I don't want, you know, my son or, or my daughters to see these things. 
And so right then and there, I just had a, uh, just a righteous anger come over me. Um, and by righteous anger, he means raging erection because he was staring at these women in front of his wife. As we know, is this guy doesn't know how to paddleboard. He was sitting on a towel next to his wife and he's looking around and he just locked in on this group of girls. His wife got mad. Why are you staring at these women? And he goes, I'm uh, Jesus. And then he ran, ran over there. Is That's what he means happened. And also just a a boldness by the Holy Spirit to go in to confront these ladies and to speak truth that, hey, what you're wearing is not okay for a nine-year-old boy or a six-year-old boy. Um, and reason being is because coming from being introduced... Listen, boys can control themselves and should be able to control themselves. If your children can't control themselves around women, that's a failure of parenting. That's 100% your fault. You can't blame external factors for the behavior of your children. If, if your children, as soon as they see a girl in a bikini, they, they lose all their morality. I feel like they didn't have too much morality to begin with there, buddy. Logan. Used to pornography at a young age, it destroyed me. And I, in that moment, just a righteous anger of to defend and protect um, young eyes came over me. And so I just started to speak truth that, hey, you know, what you're wearing is not okay, that you can't find your worth in your body, um, that the physical will never satisfy, you know, that, uh, that there's going to come a day when you're, then you're going to be face to face with God, um, you know, things of that nature. And, and so just to clear everything up, I, I don't, I'm not going to apologize. I'm just going to say, I'm going to continue to stand on the truth. I'm going to continue to stand on the word of God. So of course he's not going to apologize because why would he? Because to him, he's right. He didn't do anything wrong in his eyes. It's their fault that what he did was wrong. And it's not wrong because he didn't actually do anything wrong. Because he was doing it for Jesus. And Jesus doesn't do anything wrong. Right? That's the logic here? That's Am I following, Logan? Our society is on such a downcline of morality. Pornography and lust is at an all-time high. People, um, you know, don't even know their gender anymore. People don't even know... Um, you know, they, they can go from, you know, if they're, if they're born a male, they can be a female. If they're born a female, they can be a male. You know, society's really jacked up. And I'm going to... So guys, there it is. It's all, it's all projection. And finally, he said it. You know, these are the real feelings. He's, he's not only mad because these girls are wearing bikinis. He's also mad because people are changing their genders. They don't even know what they are anymore. And apparently, it's pornography's fault. And because it's pornography's fault, it's these girls' fault. Because these girls are pornography. You see the the steps and the leaps and the jumps that they take to justify themselves, but he's still not going to apologize. So that's good. I'm going to continue to stand on the word of truth. I'm going to continue can you continue to speak truth and be bold no matter the consequences. Um, you know, I'm I'm longing for revival in the hearts of men and women. I'm longing for people to be set free, and the only way they can be set free is by speaking the truth. It says it, it says uh, plainly in scripture that the that <clears throat> that the truth. The truth will set them free. Not acceptance, uh, not compliments, but the truth. And so I'm going to speak truth. What they were wearing was not okay for a nine-year-old nine -year eyes or a six-year-old boy's eyes. And man, yes, God loves you guys. God loves you. I hope, I hope the women watching this are watching. Um, man, God loves you. But man, you can't find your worth in your body. There's a longing deep in your soul that only Jesus can satisfy. Yeah, so these people are just crazy people. This guy is a crazy person. You can't use Jesus to justify your actions, especially when your actions are wrong. You can't say, oh, this is the truth when nothing that you're saying is objectively true. That's not how truth works. These people just run around everywhere confused. That's why they're taking horse pills. That's why they're taking, uh, you know, that's why they won't get a COVID vaccine. That's why they think Trump is a good Christian. Because they're a bunch of morons. They're, j they're stupid and they justify their actions through God and Jesus Christ, because, hey, this is what he would want me to do. <laughs> Thou shalt not judge does not apply to me because I am operating for God and Jesus. Oh, well, guys, I'm glad that we got the whole trilogy here. I'm glad that we got the part one, part two, and the follow-up. Dude, you don't get a follow-up often, especially when somebody is so clearly wrong. This is a special kind of moron, somebody who doesn't know how wrong they are. Somebody who doesn't think they're wrong at all. They go, they make a video, a three minute long TikTok video saying how wrong they aren't. It's just, it's beautiful. What else do you say? It's wonderful. 
And it's all for us to, we get to sit in on this. This guy, he's going to go through the rest of his life thinking what he did was right and righteous and justified. Never once is he going to be like, ah, oh, I kind of messed up there. I should maybe apologize. No, he started off the video. I'm not going to apologize. This isn't an apology. And you know what? We need people like this to know that we don't suck as bad as we think we do. And there's way worse people out there than us is really what guys like this exist to do. Th thank you, Logan, for showing us that there are worse people in this world. And there are you. Logan, you're one of the worst people that's ever existed. No one will be sad when you die, Logan. We all hope you get hit by your favorite beer truck, Logan. Anyway, guys. If you enjoyed this content, if you enjoyed me roasting Logan, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, come back for more content, everybody. Thank you. Bye.